Hey, Keats, this is Agents 41. Happy Wednesday, guys. Today, we're going to talk about a second answer to the question we asked on Monday. Again, in case you forgot it, the question on Monday and the question for the week is, do you ever feel overwhelmed and what do you do about it? And yesterday, we gave one answer, which was a framework um, of you don't know what you don't know, you know what you um, don't know, you um, know what you know, and you don't know what you know. The, the ignorant person, the learner, the expert, and the master beginner. So that was a good answer. You know, the, the basic answer to the question was, you, when you feel, you feel overwhelmed when you don't, um, you know what you don't know. Like the student feels overwhelmed because, oh my gosh, there's so much I don't know. What am I supposed to do? So the, the right thing to do when you feel overwhelmed is to learn. But you see, there's a problem with that answer, which is that the master beginner is also, also doesn't even know what they, they know. The master beginner is questioning everything they know to learn even more. And so this leads us to the second answer, which is um, two frameworks for the relationship between clarity and confusion. So in the classical view, uh, the more clear you become, the less confused you become. As you understand things more, confusion goes away. So this is, this is you know, pretty intuitive. I think all of us sort of assume this by default. Uh, if you want to feel, so the answer to the question is, if, you know, the in the classical view, is if you want to feel less overwhelmed, learn. And as you learn, you'll get more clear. And as you get more clear, you'll be less confused. But there's a Taoist view, which is that clarity and confusion are correlated. So the more clear you become, the more confused you become. How could this be true? This is ridiculous. It's actually not. It's, it's actually my experience of life. So why, why is that? Well, last week, you remember we talked about um, dialectic. Every argument is a counter argument. Every counter argument is a counter counter argument and so on. And so the question is, if there's, all these arguments are valid, how can anything be true? And in the same way, reality is really complex. So I used the example yesterday of the sky being blue. The master beginner knows the sky is blue, but they don't know what they know. Um, so they're questioning, why? I know the sky is blue, but why is the sky blue? How, how is the sky blue? This, the, the sky between me and my, my laptop right now isn't blue, it's clear. And I, so I've never actually seen blue sky and I can't, I, I, where does it come from? And then when you actually learn about the science of why is the sky blue, here, let's do it together. Why is the sky blue? Blue light is scattered in all directions by the tiny molecules of air in Earth's atmosphere. Blue is scattered more than other colors because it travels as shorter, smaller waves. This is why we see a blue sky most of the time. Oh, good, okay, that's the answer. I'm now suddenly clear and not confused. Wrong. I'm so much more confused. I know more than I did a second ago. I didn't, I, I'd forgotten, I'd heard this answer before, but I forgot that there's different, spe there's different spectrum of light and that, um, uh, that, um, that the blue part of the spectrum scatters more because it travels in shorter waves. I've forgotten that and that, seems to make sense as an answer, but the problem is it just leads to more questions. Ah! So what are the questions? This is NASA's Science for Kids site. And it shows how complicated, if this is a kid site, it shows how freaking complicated reality is. Look, teaching kids about the, the color spectrum. Okay, if you feed white light through a prism, it breaks up into all these different colors. And blue light has the shortest waves. Okay, got it. But this still leads to other questions. Why aren't there more, why don't more colors exist? Uh, how come we see blue light if, if there isn't a prism between us and the sun? Why do we see shorter frequency waves easier than lower frequency waves? You see what I mean? Like if we actually studied Oh my gosh, look, it goes on and on and on. If we actually studied this page, and this is science for kids, but if we actually studied this page, we would realize it's so complicated. 
you, you can't even like it's so hard to really understand why the sky is blue. So the Taoist understanding is that as you increase in clarity and you understand more and more and more about why the sky is blue, you also increase in confusion because the amount of questions explodes. So they are correlated. They go in the same direction. You become more clear and more confused at the same time. And so going back to the original question of the week, which is, do you feel overwhelmed and what do you do about it? A really reasonable response to being overwhelmed is that is answer, asking yourself the further question, am I overwhelmed because I am growing in clarity and growing in confusion at the same time? Is it because I'm a master beginner? And if the answer is yes, that actually you're learning more and more and more every week, so you're becoming more and more clear, but also more confused and you're trying to deal with it all, then it leads to a further insight, which is that part of growing is getting increasingly comfortable with being overwhelmed and increasingly comfortable with confusion. Think about that. How do you increase your confusion tolerance so that you can increase the amount that you, you can hold and understand? I wish you a clear and confused Wednesday. <laughs>